Thanks, Ronnie, and hello, everyone. My name is Cameron Ayers, Manager of Industrial Design and Interactive Technology. And my name is John Whitmock. I'm a Program Manager on the Innovation Team. And today, we have the pleasure of showing how Bell is leveraging new technologies to promote digital innovation. We'll start with augmented and virtual reality. As you can imagine, AR and VR can change the way we train, manage, and design by bringing us into another dimension. What if you could have learned to drive a car without having to get behind the wheel? Or check the health of your vehicle and know maybe you shouldn't wait two more weeks for that oil change? How about if you were able to design your car from end to end? At Bell, AR and VR technology play a big role and helps us revolutionize everything, from fleet operations to conceptual design. We first introduced VR technology to our business in 2016. Like most, we had the intention to take product marketing to the next level by providing virtual experiences to customers. And we've done that through individual sales team members running VR simulations to better showcase our current and future aircraft. Today, we strive to put our best products out to our customers and the market as efficiently as possible while conserving as many materials as we can. So how do we do this? We start by leveraging the minds of our talented team and the voices of our Bell family to design aircraft by creating 3D sketches inside of a VR environment. This allows us to gather feedback throughout the sketching phase and iterate more quickly. Within the VR environment, we can effectively perfect our design and expedite the 3D modeling process. Cameron, why don't you tell them about other ways we, we're using VR for future products? Absolutely. Not only is VR AR a standalone technology, we've also used it to leverage other innovative offerings, such as the case with Eros. Eros is the digital backbone of Bell's mobility as a service. It enables companies to manage fleet and maintenance information, vehicle health, manage throughput of product, and aggregate predictive data. By living on the cloud, Eros can provide you with real-time fleet information by using artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. Bell VR AR technologies help you experience a 360 degree view into your fleet. With Aeros immersive fleet operations, you'll be able to walk through a virtual environment as drones fly around you, or even use a HoloLens for airfield awareness when engaging with drones. You'll be able to know when drones are safe to approach and walk through your whole pre-flight checklist. And as you can see in this video, we're able to exist in a digital twin of the city our drones navigated for CES, as well as walk through a checklist for each drone that floats in space for the operator. Now that you're in the know about our VR AR technology, let's jump into the future of autonomous flight. Thanks, Cameron, for the interesting display of our digital innovation. Good morning, everyone. My name is John Whitmock. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking to you about our autonomous pod transport, better known as APT. APT is a tail-sitting, all-electric, autonomous vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. After takeoff, it transitions onto wing, which minimizes noise and maximizes range and payload capabilities. The aircraft can carry up to 70 pounds of payload in one trip with a range of 35 miles. The configuration allows for maximum payload flexibility by using a pod that is close to the ground during loading. The centrally located pod does not carry any mission systems equipment, and the aircraft can be flown with or without the pod, and the pod can be customized to carry whatever payload the customer wants. The pod of the aircraft is what we consider the customer space. I know we recently had an opportunity to practice these capabilities with NASA. We sure did. App recently completed NASA's Systems Integration and Operationalization Activity. The objective of Bell's SIO demonstration was to execute a beyond visual line of sight mission in an urban environment transitioning in and out of Class B airspace, representing future commercial flights. Data collected during this demonstration will be used to support future standards development and FAA certification guidelines. With most drones centered around last mile delivery, App differentiates itself as a hub to kiosk system. It will have the ability to deliver parcels and packages from delivery hubs to package lockers around the country, making it a prime business solution for many delivery companies around the country. However, APT isn't just about packages and logistics. It's an aircraft that can complete medical deliveries and provide humanitarian aid. It can carry test samples, blood bags, and medical supplies to support those working to save lives. After our NASA demonstration, we explored APP's hub-to-kiosk abilities. 
Alongside its commercial use, App delivers mobility without the cost, footprint, or specialized training for the military. Contested environments require App's ability to shorten supply lines with speed and runway independence, making it ideal for austere environments. Not only is Apt an airborne logistical asset, it is a transportable and easily deployed unit. The aircraft can be assembled from lightweight transport cases and ready to for flight in under 15 minutes. From that point, Apt can project MREs, ammunition, medical supplies, or even five gallons of fuel out to 35 miles of range. Apt is a perfect partner for your mission. Not only are we making exciting changes to our internal processes and creating innovative new methodologies for collaboration, we're also investing in the future of STEM through our annual vertical robotics competition. Each year we invite hundreds of students to compete in VRC. We put their skills to the test by presenting them with a complex problem that can be solved using innovative technologies. I was fortunate enough to attend last year's and we showcased future flight controls a VR motion-based enabled flight simulator where we can work towards simplified vehicle operations. Since we're still working toward the next vertical robotics competition and are keeping the details top secret until they're revealed to our competitors, please enjoy this video from our last competition. I can't wait to see what our teams come up with in the next competition. That was pretty awesome. Thank you all for joining us and learning how we are leveraging digital innovation to change the future of flight. Make sure you keep an eye out for the latest innovations. <laughs>